What's up everyone, this is Eddie Coves. If you were redirected from Instagram, thanks for tuning in. This is the 18x24 oil on canvas, the Slim Reaper, Kevin Durant, the process video. And if you discovered this video from somewhere on the internet, welcome. My goal is to paint 30 current NBA players from 30 teams, and this is painting number six. But before we get into it, not everyone calls KD the Slim Reaper. They call him a snake. But why? Well, I'd like to show you why in my Kevin Durant story over three years ago, when he left Oklahoma City Thunder to the Golden State Warriors. This is my Kevin Durant story. Back in the day, I loved watching Kevin Durant play basketball, and it was one of the reasons why I supported OKC. KD elevated OKC to levels we've never seen before. Everything was perfect. I had the KD jersey, the t-shirt, the mug, and god damn, I even had KD toilet paper. Win, lose, or draw, to me it didn't matter. As long as KD was in OKC, I trusted that we'd eventually win a ring. Murray, just using some of the clock. And he fires. Yes! You know, I made a decision to come and, uh, and play for these guys, and I, and I feel great, and I feel excited about this opportunity. Kevin Durant has decided to head to Golden State. Uh, the news again coming in moments ago, Kevin Durant heading to the Golden State Warriors. Free agent Kevin Durant is leaving Oklahoma City for the Golden State Warriors. I know a lot of people talking about it. You're going to the team that beat you when you were 48 minutes away on three separate. So much of it. Kevin Durant has ruined the regular season. And everything is just ruined. Just ruined. Just ruined. Couldn't believe it. How was this even possible? I immediately started ranting to my family and friends my frustration. He didn't even give us a sign. The words just won a championship. Did Westbrook even know about this? Damn, now the words is a super team. How you go to a team that beat you like just like a couple freaking days ago? What a snake. I was livid. F it, man, I was already a Westbrook fan at heart anyway. I couldn't eat or even get a wink of sleep for the next five months. Wait, why the heck did I put five months in here? This is such an exaggeration. So there was only one thing for me to do. I had to write a letter to Kevin Durant. Dear Kevin Wayne Durant. <laughs> why you gotta be such a bitch? Nah, nah, <laughs> scratch that. Dear Kevin Wayne Durant. Why you gotta be like that, huh? You used to call me on my cell phone. Now where you at? Why would you run these cross? Oh, why would you run these thoughts across my mind? There's a point in which I'll lose my self-restraint. Well, never mind. I'll find someone like you. Yeah, I said it. That's Westbrook. How could you be so heartless? I love you and hate you at the very same time. You cut me real deep. Cut me like surgery. To the left, to the left. Every KD thing I own will be thrown in that box to the left. I wrote that letter and addressed it to the House of Slytherin because that's where KD lives right now. Yes, I made a Harry Potter reference and it doesn't matter because Kevin Durant lives there right now and that's where all the snakes are. But I'm probably gonna regret that video later on. The process video. So Katie's original name was not a snake. It was and is still from what I've seen, the Slim Reaper. Something I think he probably is embracing right now. So naturally I looked up a couple of pictures of a Reaper and they look pretty scary. So, you know, I'm not trying to have um, death stare at me while I sleep in this small studio apartment. So uh, <laughs> I wanted to change that up. Just just for example, look look, look at where I put my Katie, uh, my D Wade painting, but it's like hidden behind here. Look at that! Look
looks like the devil, man. I ain't trying to have them staring down at me while I sleep. So like, instead, why don't I just put a hoodie on him, right? Um, it's close enough, I guess. So I looked up a couple of hoodie pictures and ended up with one that had excellent cast shadows on the person's face. Um, so I did some amateur Photoshop for the general composition and uh, boom. All right, first, so I'm gonna prep the canvas background and as promised in the Kawaii video, this time I use a different canvas size. I'm rocking with an 18 by 24 canvas from Blick. So I'm gonna sandpaper my canvas and as mentioned before in previous videos, all sandpapering your canvas really does is it smoothens your surface and helps merge colors. And I think it also improves absorption by the canvas as well. So for this painting, I use a gray acrylic background, which goes with the Brooklyn Nest colors. It's a nice neutral color. I always use an acrylic color for the background and it's great because it, the acrylic dries fast. I like to call this step the draw paint step. Once I'm done painting the background and get my drawing down, I like to go over my pencil lines with a, an acrylic, a lighter acrylic color. So in this case, I use a lighter blue acrylic color to go over it, just so that I can see um, the boundary. It, it just guides me through the painting and I can see clearly like what the boundaries are. So first I'm going to do a light layer of acrylic color just to get a sense of what I'm going to finally paint in oil. So I'm going to get all the darker shades and the lighter shades down using this um, acrylic paint and it's also going to dry really quickly so I can start my oil um, painting uh, much quicker. All right, it's painting time. Kevin Durant is yet to play for the Brooklyn Nets and their colors are black and white. Pretty straightforward. Our reference image calls for a blue hoodie and a black and white KD, but we're gonna change that. This whole piece will be done, uh, will be a monochrome painting. Monochrome is a painting or picture produced in one color. In this case, we're using different shades of black and in order to get a, a lighter shade, we need to use white. More on this in future episodes. Now we're gonna use oil paint, and as usual with oil paint, our water is going to be terpenoid, and we are going to also be using linseed oil to help with the flow of the paint. I'm gonna start off with some hoodie details, um, concentrating on the darker shades, and then finishing off with um, lighter shades. to the face you'll realize in this particular reference image the work has almost been done for us so uh, we have darker shades around the eyes and lower cheekbones but I bounce back and forth between images to get a more a more realistic approach for example in this KD image his forehead is lighter it's a lighter shade but in the hoodie reference 
image, uh, which is what we're going for, it's dark. So I went for that because it makes more sense. So I'm gonna apply the same concept throughout the whole painting. All right, I'm gonna let this time lapse run and I'll catch you guys back later. So here's a quick photo montage of the whole pa uh, painting process. My goal is to paint 30 NBA players from 30 teams, but not all of them will have videos, but they all will be put onto Instagram. So make sure you look out for that. Thanks for watching and don't be scared to press that subscribe button for more. Peace.